Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 10 of my SPSS tutorials. So a benchmark in my uh, tutorial uh, experience. Uh, today we'll discuss uh, a topic which might seem a bit more difficult at first, which is uh, regression. It will be a simple regression with no moderators or uh, mediators uh, or confounders. Uh, so quite a simple one. Uh, and yeah, most people regard this as a difficult topic, but I'll actually show you that it's not that it's that it's not that hard. And as soon as you as soon as you understand it, uh, most people find it quite easy. Uh, so what regression is, is that it shows the relationship between an independent and a dependent uh, variable. So, uh, uh, for example, what is the effect of age on your personal income? So if age rises, uh, then uh, if age rises with one, what is then the what is the effect of that on your personal income? Uh, with how much does your personal income rise or uh, decrease or decrease? So this is not a correlation. So I think we discussed correlations in episode four or five, and uh, correlations only show whether it increases or decreases because it's a positive or a negative relationship. Uh, but with um, but with regression, you can actually see with what extent the dependent variable increases or decreases. So it's it's more concrete. Like if your uh, if your age increases with one, with what uh, amount of euros do your uh, uh, do your, does your personal income increase or decrease? And the other difference is that is that a correlation is two sided. So the the effect is both is both ways. Well, uh, a regression is only one way. So there's one dependent variable and one independent variable. Okay, so let's get started to make it a bit more clear. Uh, you go to analyze, um, regression, and then linear. And you get to select a dependent uh, and an independent one. As a dependent, we'll, uh, we'll choose in this case pink. And your independent, so the grouping variable is your age. Then you press paste, you go to your syntax screen, you select the, yeah, if you don't know what the syntax is, I do recommend watching episode two uh, of my tutorials. And then you select run. Then if you go down to the lowest table, you so you'll see the coefficients table. And uh, the most important, uh, the most important uh, aspects of this table are the two over here. So the, uh, so the slope of the constant and age. Let's first take a look at uh, let's first take a look at the slope of age. This means that with every uh, year you get older, your personal income, which is the dependent variable, increases with 3.614. Uh, so every year you get older, your personal income increases with three euros and sixty one cents. That's the slope. Of the uh, of the independent variable, the constant means the uh, means your uh, um, the size of your dependent variable. If your dependent, if your independent variable is zero, so in this case, the constant slope reflects what your personal income is if h is nil. In other words, what is um, uh, in other words, what is your income if you're zero years old? But this is only, and I should put an uh, uh, I should put an explanation mark uh, after this that this is only hypothetical. You don't have an income when you're uh, zero years old. But according to the data collected in this survey, you uh, yeah you gain uh, 3.61 euros per year extra. And if you then subtract, uh, subtract that, uh, subtract that, uh, then you would get a hypothetical uh, 1739 euros uh, when you're zero years old. So if you're zero years old, you'll earn this much. And if you're, let's say, when you're 10 years old, you hypothetically earn 1739 euros plus 10 times uh, 3.614 extra. So uh, 36 euros extra on top of this, that would make uh, 1,775 euro, uh, 75 euros. Or if you look at someone who is 100 years old, I should again say this is hypothetical because at the one, when you're 100 years old, you probably don't earn anything anymore. But you would earn 1,739 plus 100 times 
3.6 extra. Um, so that would make somewhere in the 2100s. Okay, so the constant is your dependent variable when your independent is zero, and the slope of your uh, and the slope of uh, your deep, uh, independent variable shows with what the dependent variable increases if your independent increases with one. Um, yeah, the coefficient uh, standard error and the beta I won't discuss for now. Uh, and if you look at the significance uh, over here, um, yeah, uh, is this actually, uh, is the uh, relationship between the independent and the dependent, is that the significant one? Well, this one is lower than 0.05 because it's 0.043. So yes, this slope is significant. So age has a significant effect on uh, your age has a significant effect on your income, even though it's only a slight one. Okay, and that's uh, that's about it for now. So that's uh, yeah, simple a simple linear regression. And uh, I hope everything was clear. Uh, if not, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, see you guys for the next episode.